Hi guys, I am Rik Datta, a first year medico at Medical College Kolkata or MCK for short. I am here today at Analytical Minds to share my views about my college and I think if I am honest, my professors are going to really like me. So let's get started. So the first day of our college actually happened twice because we had our online classes start before, way back in February and it was a pretty normal day except that we had classes on the very first day and our principal took 15 minutes when the class started and we were all on MS Teams in the meeting and our principal introduced herself, she made us show us our faces on the video cam. We were supposed to intro but since it would have taken a lot of time, we did not. So the real intro, as I would say, would have to wait for another month, like in March, offline classes started and then we had our proper first day. Our principal and our professors introduced themselves on the stage and then we were called upon to go there one by one and talk about ourselves, where we are from, our schools, our drive, I guess. Yeah, we talked about those things on stage in front of 249 other students as well as professors. So that was the first day and our principal gave us a really nice pep talk. She told us that medicine or being a physician is not just any other profession. We can't be there for just money or fame. Yeah, it's true we'll get all that, but if we are in it for that, we will get burned out very soon because the amount of effort we put in, no amount of money or fame can justify that. Instead, we gain satisfaction from how our patients are treated, how we'll be able to make their lives better. And that's exactly why she told us that we should become doctors. That is a greater good and not just these things, as I said. So MCK is the top medical college of our state. And as such, all the toppers who have cleared me from our state at least choose MCK as the top priority. And that's been happening for a long, long time. And as such, I, I find myself surrounded by people who are way more ac academically accomplished than me. And yeah, there's peer pressure, and, but I have never been felt forced to do anything out of peer pressure. If anything, it drives me to do better. And I think you won't find this at any, most of the colleges, in fact. So we follow the NMC laid down guidelines of curriculum based medical education, a CBME for short. It's more or less similar to all other colleges in our state as well as in India. We have three trimester exams, generally at the interval of three months. And then we have our first year, or whichever you are in, uh, then we have our professional exams. And the professional exams are like the board exams we gave in class 10 and 12. And we need to pass these to clear the year and move on to next year. However, here I want to say that there are also going to be short, small exams throughout the year called internal assessments or part completion tests or PCTs for short. But one thing that I like about my college is that those small exams are not that frequent. And why I like it? It's because the more exams you have, the less time you get to study standard books. And standard books are those books which help you build concept, but you can't write answers in your exams with them. So yeah, I got to study a lot of standard books because our exams were infrequent and we basically had two or three like, PCTs and that helped us a lot because at the end of the year we were all concept cleared and we could just resort to Indian author books just a month before the exam. So I have nothing but praises for our teaching faculty. They are amazing and I'm not kidding. Like our anatomy HOD actually took our neural, neural tube development class and he actually explained it to us via a bottle, a plastic bottle. He cut them into cross sections and that is it. We understood it so well that even if I have not revised it in a month, I still remember how exactly the formation takes place. And that is why I love my teachers. They are innovative, especially in this time when online classes just started. A lot of people really don't know how to take online classes, but our teachers aced it. Our online classes were never boring, otherwise we would not have so much attendance, even now, 
and that's it our professors are amazing they are helpful and most importantly they are accessible like we have whatsapp groups with each subject and we can approach any teacher anytime we want and even though they are busy doctors they make sure to get time for us and reply to our concerns so mck is spread across 25 acres and that's a huge campus because i find myself often getting lost in here in fact i got lost very recently just a few days ago i went to my campus even though my first is about to end i still don't know my way about and that's kind of something anyway that's not the point the campus is very big and there's a lot of pretty buildings especially because our campus is one of the oldest in india and a british inspired architecture is what you're going to find here like of course the most beautiful building according to me is the eden ward and its red brick walls are amazing you should really check it out as well as for infrastructure our college lacks nothing we are a premier institute and as such among all other medical colleges in our state we have adequate resources being at the very heart of kolkata and connected by metro and shialda train station our college is very accessible and as such the patient load here is huge and that would be an under exaggeration that's not an exaggeration the patient load here is so huge that you'll never find the college lonely like it's always teeming with people and a huge patient load is beneficial for us because the more patients we see as doctors as students the better doctors we become because after all no matter how much you study in your books those theory things won't stick in your head unless you correlate them with your patients unless you practice them on people on living people i being a day scholar i am not really a very good person to comment on hostel life but from what i have gathered from my friends who have been to hostel lives hostel life here is fun like i have seen whatsapp statuses all year long about how much fun they're having and one thing i want to mention is that the first day boys are going to have a separate hostel hostel building they have to share rooms with three other guys and i think that goes the same for the girls as well like four students share a single room and that's the first year at least i think this from second year you get individual rooms but that's up to your choice our hostels are very well furnished because i have gone there and i feel envious because yeah the rooms are really huge and nice and most importantly they're clean because that's not something you find everywhere and i'm glad my college has that facility of being clean because yeah that would be a huge turn off otherwise so the fee structure is kind of complicated actually no it's not just so that we have to pay our fees in semester terms even though we have trimester exams there are no semester exams but each year we have is consists of two semesters and each semester costs 4500 rupees so that comes out to 750 per month and that's pretty cheap i guess and you just have one more fees for a professional exams like each year you have to pay a professional professional exam fees and that depends on the year there's also an upfront cost in first year and that will be your logbook fees because basically logbooks are books or no uh, copies where you are just noting down which competencies you have accomplished like competency based medical education as it is said and yeah you just have to buy a logbook in the first year itself and that's going to last you for 4 years so that's just a one time payment my advice to juniors okay the first the very first thing i want to tell you is that be yourself you are in a college now this is not school because you can't hide yourself here you can't stick to your group be yourself be genuine be authentic because even if you hide here you won't be able to hide it once you grow up even more it's better to be what you are in this college because our college has one of the most liberal values in india and i can't not talk about this because of our seniors our seniors are amazing in a sense that they just are very helpful even at midnight they'll be and they will be open to our queries they have helped us with our exams of course and their list of important topics is exactly what we require for exams because in mbbs you can't study all things before exam and those important topics help us a lot in fact that list is circulated throughout all the colleges in west bengal so there is a flex in that 
As for other things, our seniors have always allowed us to be free and we don't have a lot of regulations like we can wear what we want as long as we're decent. I have long hair and I'm pretty sure that might not have been allowed other, in other places. So yeah, there's that. And the other thing that I would love to say is maintain batch unity. Your batch is going to be with you for 5 years and you need to get to know them. Like, you don't have to know everyone but just know them, like, as much as you can. Even the first is ending, I still don't know the names of a lot of people and that's okay, especially in COVID where you can't see each other's faces because of masks. But as a batch, maintain your unity, whether it be bunking, whether it be coming to solve issues that a single person faces. Because when you stand, out for, stand up for someone, that person is going to stand up for you as well. And 5 years is a long time. You need to be in it as a group because yeah, we can't do everything alone. So, best of luck if you're going to join my college. I will be your senior if you join and you can always approach me. So, there's it. I love my college and I would love to have you here.